competence. If a business is within your circle of competence, by definition, you know what that business is worth. And you don't need to do this precisely. Okay. I mean, let's say I take a business like Coca-Cola. What is Coca-Cola worth? Okay. I would say that it's likely that Coca-Cola's value, intrinsic value, is probably more than 15 times trailing earnings. It might even be more than 20 times trailing earnings. Maybe it's even 25 or 30 times trailing earnings. Such a, such a high quality business. But let's stick to 15 times trailing earnings because that's a no-brainer. We know it's worth more than 15 times trailing earnings. If Coke is offered to you at five times trailing earnings, it's a no-brainer. It's an aha moment. If it's offered to you at 12 times trading earnings, we don't know. And once we get to, we don't know, we can take a pass. This is a game with no call strikes. And uh, so we can let a thousand balls go by, not just three. And so Coke comes to you at 12 or 13 times earnings. Yeah, not really. Let it go. You know, then Facebook shows up at 12 times earnings. You say, let's swing at that one. Okay. And you just keep doing that all day. You basically keep saying no to almost everything. And what happens is that once in a while, there are these aha moments. And I think the key is that it has to hit you between the head with like a two by four, where you just cannot ignore it. Like, like you know, I've mentioned in some of my, some of my previous talks, I was visiting Turkey and I ran into this company that is the number one warehouse operator in Turkey. It was really simple to figure out what those you know, their warehouses are 99% leased. They're leased to like Amazon, Carrefour, Ikea, very, very high quality tenants, long-term leases, 10 years, whatever. And it's really easy to figure out what the cost of a warehouse is, you know, $30, $40 a square foot for the land and, you know, $35, $40 a square foot for construction costs, like, you know, $70, $80 a square foot. And they have 12 million square feet. So, you know, it's maybe worth a billion dollars, something like that. 900 million, a billion, something like that. Maybe 800 million to a billion, somewhere in that range. And there was a couple of, couple of hundred million of debt. Okay, so the thing is worth about like, let's say 600 to 800 million. The market cap was 20 million. If you see a cow, which is, or a bull, which is huge, you don't need to know the weight to know that it's big and fat, okay? I didn't need to know whether the liquidation value of RESAS was 800 million, a billion, 600 million, 500 million. All of those answers were fine. Even 200 million was fine. I'm paying 20 million. Okay. So the only question left was, am I dealing with a bunch of crooks or are they honest? You know, like what's going on here, right? And I poked a lot at that. And I met, met the father and son and I asked people I trusted and they said, there's nothing we've ever heard, which is untoward about them. And so, and they came across as, you know, pretty straightforward, smart people and hardworking people. And they had built this from scratch. I mean, they, you know, they worked hard at it. So it was a no brainer. So I think what you're looking for is these absolute no brainers and they do show up from time to time. And when they 